Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Oops, what I meant to say was, hey! <laughs> Today I'm doing my Pride Pour for uh, the month of June, Pride Month. Um, I'm very honored to have been hosting uh, the uh, collaboration with my friend Yan C. Art. Um, I hope you follow his channel. I think we gathered uh, 22 artists, including ourselves, over the course of three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And um, I am tonight, I'm going to do a uh, straight pour for my gay pride thing, which because just because I think it's funny. But um, and pride used to be, it started as a protest against inequality and injustice. So um, I kind of want to bring that back uh, with my piece. Instead of doing rainbow colors, I'm going to go with the, the group that I feel is the most targeted at the moment, and that is the trans community. So I am going with the, the trans flag, which is three colors, um, uh, pastel pink, pastel blue, and white. Um, I've created these two or these three colors. This is a custom color of. Um, well, I started with DecoArt uh, rose quartz, and I added a little bit of uh, cadmium red light from Liquitex, and uh, some titanium white from Liquitex Basics, and I came up with this uh, beautiful pastel, but still kind of vibrant pink. Um, and then this is. Uh, permanent blue light from Amsterdam or from uh, Liquitex Basics, and this is a mix of Liquitex Basics titanium white and DecoArt satin enamel white. And uh, because these are all very um, pastel colors, I needed a dark color just so those uh, colors will show up and really uh, pop. So I mixed up a custom mix of Amsterdam greenish blue. Dioxazine purple and uh, Liquitex Basics Mars Black. So I'm not sure if you can see this color, but it's going to be very dark. I, I believe it'll dry even darker than this, but it's a, a definitely a blue violet color. I love it. And I have some table scrapings that I'll use as a flow extender. So I'm going to layer my cup and I'm going to pour, uh, I'll do a straight pour here. I'm going to do uh, healthy layers of this dark color in between smaller layers of this. I'm hoping for kind of ribbons of the pink, blue, and white. And since this has satin enamels in it, I might get some cloudy effects. I think it should be quite pretty. So I will put on some music for you, sit back and enjoy, and I will talk to you again at the end. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love you I'm not afraid 
So here is the wet result of my straight pour for gay pride. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I absolutely love these colors from the trans flag, the, the pastel pink and the pastel blue. I don't use pastel colors very often, uh, but they really pop against that uh, blue violet that I uh, created. And the, um, the white with the satin enamel really puffed up. I think it's gorgeous. So uh, I'll show you some of the details here. Um, I stopped halfway through and popped more air bubbles because every I noticed every time I was popping it or every time a bubble was popping, a new cell would appear and I really wanted to stretch them out as much as I could. Very galactic looking. It's so pretty. And I love all of these fingerlings. I hope that uh, pink dries with some metallic sparkle from the pink quartz. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention... If you're hearing some ticking in the background, uh, that's because I am at my husband's family's lake house in uh, uh, three hours north of Toronto. Canadians call them a cottage. It's been in the family since 1910, and this building that I'm currently in is the tool house. It was built in 1913. It's the oldest building on the property, and great-grandpa McCullough built this so that he could have a dark room because he was an amateur photographer. So I'm bringing art back to this little building and doing my painting in here. I think I love that little connection. Um, but that uh, ticking that you're hearing in the background is because we're on solar power here and the light is on a timer. So it gives me a half an hour before it shuts me into the dark. <laughs> it looks like I have about 10 minutes left. So uh, I'm going to start cleaning up here, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, and for all of the LGBTQ plus uh, viewers, families, and friends, I want you to, I just want to say you are perfect just the way you are. And remember that love is love. And um, in the video description is the playlist for all three days of the, um, uh, the collaboration. I hope you check out all of the artists involved. And again, thank you, Yen, for all of your help uh, coordinating this. So thanks again and happy Pride, everyone.